Um, okay, so now uh, we're going to uh, balance this redox reaction in acidic solution. Um, so the, res the <clears throat> products of this reaction I'm just going to scoot this down um, will be uh, zinc 2 plus plus sulfur plus NO plus NO, yep, yeah. okay and now um, it's less obvious what's being what's happening here, um, but uh, zinc is going to be a plus two charge in this compound. So zinc is um, one of the alkali earth metals, so it's basically always plus two. Uh, so sulfur is minus two. Here on this side, zinc is still plus two, so essentially nothing's happening to the zinc, but the sulfur is going to zero. So our sulfur is being oxidized as this charge is going from minus two to zero. And on this side, um, the oxygen is minus two. And so the nitrogen must be the rest of the charge, right? So the charge here is minus two times three, which is minus six, but the whole thing needs a minus one, so that gives the nitrogen a plus five, right? So the charge has to balance, so that means that for the NO3, we've got plus five plus three times minus two equals minus one. Three times minus two is six, so five minus six equals minus one, minus one equals minus one. So that looks good. And then on this side, it's fairly simple. We've got minus two for the oxygen, and so plus two for the nitrogen. And so our, our nitrogen is being reduced from five to two. All right. So we've identified our, our oxidation states um, and our half reactions. Uh, so we might as well write them out. So we've got zinc sulfide going to uh, zinc two plus plus uh, neutral sulfur. Um, the sulfur is being oxidized here and we've got a two plus charge sitting around on this side, so there's our two electrons to balance out our two plus charge. Um, <clears throat> and then our NO3 minus is going to NO. And now we balance the, the single electron here by adding an electron. Um, now the oxygens are, aren't balanced, so uh, regardless of whether it's acidic or basic, we're going to add water. So we've got um, three oxygens here, one oxygen here, so we need to add two waters to balance the oxygens. Now we've got four hydrogens, so we need to add four H pluses. And uh, this is the reason why I should have waited to add the electrons. Um, now we should have added the electrons to balance the charge, um, especially too, because that was obviously on the wrong side. Um, <clears throat> so um, th now is when we should have added the electrons. So we've got our four H pluses, and now all the elements are balanced. On this side, we have four positive, minus one, so we need three electrons on this side to balance the charge. So now we have four negative charge, minus or plus four positive charge. So that's neutral, neutral, and so everything is, is, is uh, charge balanced. And now to get our balanced equation, 
we need to sum the two, but we need to multiply by appropriate coefficients. Um, so to get these all the electrons to cancel, we need to multiply this guy by two and this guy by three, as that'll give us uh, six electrons in the end, right? And so then we can cancel everything and sum the two with the appropriate factors. So we're gonna get three zinc sulfide um, from on the reactant side from this guy. We're gonna get two NO3 minus um, plus eight H plus goes to three zinc two plus plus three sulfur. I guess I should have put two NO and plus four H2O. And so then this is our balanced equation in acidic solution. Um, I'm just going to add one little note here and say the only difference between balancing acidic solution and acidic and basic solution is in basic solution we would add OH minus to cancel out the H pluses giving us water and then we'd cancel out the, the water. Um, so we'd add OH minuses to both sides I should say. Um, so that's really the only little difference for basic solution. I always remember it as um, acidic solution. You basically just follow the acidic solution and then for basic solution you add it OH minus. Um, but here's our balanced expression. Uh, here's the, the solution given. And that looks the same. So I'll say the solution is correct. Okay.